Ada Loa Sipiel Fisher was a civil rights pioneer and the first African American to attend the University of Oklahoma College of Law. In 2011, on the 60th anniversary of her law school graduation, we honor her strength and courage, which paved the way for generations to follow. Ada Lois was a child of Oklahoma, born in Chickasha in 1924. She was an excellent student, valedictorian of her high school, an honors graduate of Langston University, and she always dreamed of becoming a lawyer. However, Oklahoma statutes prohibited blacks from attending white state universities, and Langston didn't have a law school. At the urging of the NAACP, 21-year-old Ada Lois agreed to seek admission to OU's law school to challenge segregation laws. She applied to OU Law in January 1946. After reviewing Fisher's credentials, the then university president, Dr. George Lynn Cross, admitted there was no academic reason to reject her. But because she was black, it was against the law, and he had to follow the law. Represented by Thurgood Marshall and Amos Hall, a lawsuit was filed and the United States Supreme Court ordered Oklahoma to provide Ada Lois with a legal education. But instead of admitting her to OU, Oklahoma created an all-black law school just for her. There was another trip to the United States Supreme Court, a trial, and another appeal. In all, it took 18 months for Ada Lois to be admitted to OU College of Law. Even while present in law school, she was required to sit in a roped-off area. However, when the guards weren't looking, OU law students would sneak in under the ropes to sit with her. Fisher graduated three years later from OU Law in 1951. She passed the bar, practiced law, and then joined the faculty at Langston University, where she taught for 30 years. Bringing her experience full circle, in 1991, OU presented her with an honorary doctorate, and a year later she was appointed to the Board of Regents. 45 years after being rejected for admission, Ada Lois became one of seven members of the board governing the University of Oklahoma. The Scipio case was a seminal case leading to Brown v. Board of Education, one of the most important civil rights cases in our nation's history, and Ada Lois has been recognized by the Smithsonian as one of 150 outstanding black women. I think she's just one of those people that truly embody that be the change you want to see in the world. And instead of saying, you know, I wish, she went and she did it. And I think that speaks the most to me. And it's the kind of person that I would like to aspire to be as well. I would say what speaks to me personally is her, her perseverance, her struggle to actually attend law school, being denied and still not taking that for an answer, saying that I'm going to continue, that I'll do it. I'll be the first African-American to attend law school at the University of Oklahoma. I and thousands of other people view her as a very brave and courageous person and that she made great contributions to our society. If not for her, I wouldn't be here. I mean, she obviously desegregated the law school and uh, made it possible for African Americans and people of color to uh, attend the University of Oklahoma College of Law. I just sometimes will pass the picture that they have of her by the library and just kind of look and admire what she went through and I kind of you know, nod and say thanks and remember that what I am doing is in a reflection to what she went through. You have people that have gone ahead of you, whether it's family or friends, or somebody you never have met, it's always appreciation that simply says thank you for the road that you blazed ahead of those who came later. Now had it not been for her, my uncle would not have been able to be the second African American admitted to the University of Oklahoma College of Law. So, you know, and had it not been for her, then him or the third, fourth, fifth, and so on would not have been able to be here, myself included. She was a pioneer. She was fearless. And she was so pretty. She was such a beautiful, physically a beautiful lady. But she was tough. She was tough and, and committed to making it better for young lawyers like me. Thank you. Ada Lois died in 1995, but her legacy lives on. 
In the memorial garden named in her honor on OU's campus, a bronze plaque pointedly observes how the stone that the builders once rejected becomes the cornerstone.